got out here to the sea police and check the water. There's something going on with the automatic water. It's not working right, but I'm gonna get a count on the sheep real quick. And then I pretty much picked this part pretty clean, so we get the fence moved. Move them to another acre or two acres right over here. Get the dog feeder and water moved over, top off the water tote. We'll take a look at that here in a minute. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve. Still got some grass in here, but pretty picked over. And like I say, whatever that yellow flowering weed is here, they don't really care for that. Still got good clumps of grass where they just took about the top third of it off and left some tips, so that should come back pretty good. Let's see where they run around the edges and this had a lot more grass on it on these high spots where or the low spots in between the terraces that hold water but it's looking good I'm gonna go ahead and shut the solar panel charger off over here the dogs digging some holes been a couple of days since I was out here for the last video um, they definitely cleaned up what forage was left here get this charger shut off and we're gonna get the fence moved over now you can see this portion that we're moving them into other than where my tire tracks are got pretty good tips on everything nice green forage for them over here may not give them as big of a section because there's some thicker grass here I'm thinking about just an acre instead of two and then check a few days and see how quick they're eating all that down like I say it's kind of varied vegetation and these bottoms a lot thicker and then when it gets on top of the terrace is real bare but i'm thinking about just going from this terrace to that one the same length would be about an acre i'll measure it here in a minute on onyx once i get my post put in so we'll know how much it is but i've got something going on with the water over here my overflow reservoir that's supposed to gravity feed into the bucket is not really gravity feeding it's just a trickle coming out down there the float all the way down the valves open so we need to figure out what's going on with this kind of gurgles I got water flow there I may have something in my hose Right there kind of fixed it i might have just had an air bubble in there but get that topped off and moved over also and update you guys here in a minute i'm gonna try something here i've got one wire all the way around and this existing one we're gonna try and open up see if we can get them to come across and then stay in this one wire <laughs> see if we can get them to stay in the one wire while I move the rest of them two four six eight ten eleven I think I missed one surely it's over here already check in a minute but 
I'm gonna hook these back up, go to the other end of these ones where the reel is, reel them up to the corner, and then bring them back around that way for the other three. I'll try that real quick and see how it works. So we ended up with uh, just under an acre. It's like 0.98 acres on Onyx. Got all three wires ran. Water's over there filling up. Got the dog feeder, mineral feeder in here. Top off their mineral. I fill it up. Pretty empty. Good. I'm excited about the mineral, but um, one little tip we like to do is try and put the mineral, which is on our dog feeder, and the water in opposite corners or a little ways away from each other. And I like to put one of them in one of the more bare spots like this because the sheep tend to go from mineral to water, water to mineral. And that way they're peeing and pooping in between and in the bare spots. So it ends up working out pretty good. Helping fertilize the spots that aren't growing yet. And, um, that sheep right there, the black and white one, is the one that was hurt pretty bad we had at the house she seems to be doing good now so i think that's pretty much gonna be it for today i'm just gonna go check the water make sure it's working and then get out of here i'll probably only leave them here today's wednesday probably leave them here until saturday and then we'll move them to the last section over there it'll be a little over two acres i need to run the hot wire from the corner that way to finish that one off but Saturday will be a good work day out here. Get them moved and then that should last them probably a week again. Seems like two acres with pretty good grass here lasts about a week. Um, I do like giving them smaller sections like this so I can move them quicker, but just depends on the schedule, how everything's going. So thanks for watching. Um, hit the like button down there below. Subscribe to the channel for more and let us know how we're doing in the comments. Um, like I say, we're learning as we go. We've done this for a little while now, but I'm not above learning from anybody. So if you've got any advice or things you think we're doing right or, the, or that we're doing wrong, let me know down below. We can talk about it. Thanks for watching.